Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Spiritual Connection Show. I'm your host, Katie Augustine. So I'm a spiritual energy healer. I'm a transformation coach. I'm a shamanic practitioner. And I'm the spiritual head of the Transformation Center CT, which is located in Westport, Connecticut. So at the center, we do a variety of things. We, we want to serve you where you are. So we have classes, we have workshops, trainings. Um, we have wonderful sound baths in the backyard during the, during the nice weather, the summer and fall. Um, we also offer individual sessions for coaching and healing. So I'm gonna put up our contact info and you can check that out. Um, hang on one second, there it is. All right, so this is our website. It's transformationcenterct.com. And you can email or text and check out the website because we have different events every month. As I said, classes, um, various things, and you can read more about all of the offerings there. Okay, thank you. And so those of you who uh, watched the spiritual so you know that it's all about connection because that's what I have as a core value. So I love meeting new people, connecting with them, hearing their stories, and then I want to share it with you. So I really am happy. Um, you know, each guest has something different to offer. So check it out and really tune in to what their story is and see what's in it for you. And that will allow you you know, to progress on your journey and to tune in with your higher self to your spiritual nature. So thanks everybody again for being here. And I'm very excited that, that today my guest is Alexa Oliveri. Welcome to the show, Alexa. Hello. I'm so glad you're able to join me. Uh, you know, Alexa is, is kind of a new connection, I think, through, through the TLC group, is that, that's how we met. And I'm gonna really, um, put up her slides so you can see how to reach her and tell you a little bit about her before we get started. All right, here we go. So this is perfect. Meet Alexa, Alexa Oliveri. And that is her email address, shine at alexaoliveri.co, not .com, but .co. And this is just a beautiful graphic. It's the first time I've seen it, so I'll enjoy looking at it. And our social media handle is over on the bottom right at Alexa Oliveri. So check that out. So Alexa is a visionary. She's a spirited business advisor and intuitive who integrates the wisdom of spirit with the modern day working world. Wow, what a great combination. So <laughs> welcome, Alexa. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, so much. I'm so grateful to be here today with you. Yeah, this is fun. So as you know, I always like to ask my first question of, of my guest, which is tell us a little bit, a little bit <laughs> <laughs> about your spiritual journey thus far, because I know we could, you could just talk forever, right? Totally true. Totally true. <laughs> yes. But I will give a short snippet about my spiritual journey. And to me, spirituality and spirit means love at the core essence of it all. It means love. And, you know, I remember being a young girl and actually my father recently showed me some video from when I was younger and growing up. And my dad asked me to speak into the camera and say, Alexa, what do you have to say to everybody? And I turned, I must be four years old. And I said, I just wanna say that I love everybody. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And so I recently saw that. And although I, I, I don't know if I could say the first 20 some years of my life that I was totally in tune with my spirituality or what that meant, I definitely always remember being a young girl and feeling very deep emotions about the world and about people. Um, and so ever since I was a young girl, I was aware of it in a sense, but not a hundred percent sure about kind of what I was touching or what spirit was and not really fully grasping the entire concept. Um, but I think that spirituality has been a part of me as is all of us for forever and will be forever more. Yeah. 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 So that's 
that, so that's been your guiding light. Um, did you feel that throughout your, your life? You yeah. 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 And then when did you start um, making it part of your, as you were saying, the working world? Like, how did you get into that side of it? So I actually grew up very shy, painfully shy um, and very fearful. Um, and I went through college and experience with a bunch of things and just trying to figure out who I was. And I thought that the key to success was working in corporate America and climbing the ladder and earning a nice income and getting a great title in that corner office. And like that was success. And that was what was life was all about. Um, and I, and when I have my mindset on something, yeah, I achieved that. And so I did achieve that. And then I looked at my life one day and I was overweight and I was neglecting my own self and putting in wild hours into a company and into a mission um, that I hadn't found to be really a, a huge connection for me. And I'd like to say that my big spiritual awakening happened to me in my uh, early to mid 20s. And I just was like, what am I doing? Um, and I just shifted everything in that moment. I adopted a plant-based diet. I started researching and learning and meditating and reading about what love was and what the purpose of life was. I just remember like YouTubing, like what is my life's purpose? <laughs> And um, then I, and I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. I signed up for a, a race called the Ragnar race. And I ran um, with 12 strangers, a 200 mile relay race in Canada. Wow. Yeah. I've never even heard of that. That's yeah. It was definitely wild. And so I, I really took this time to explore, explore myself and kind of like push myself to what I thought my limits are, which we have no limits. And um, from there, I just immersed myself in yoga and um, the teaching and the philosophy of yoga as, as well with the movement. Um, and then I was like, whoa, okay, I see what this whole point of life is about. <laughs> I think I'm still <laughs> learning that. <laughs> you, went back, you probably went back to when you were four years old because it's uh -huh. all love, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. And I, I, I went to um, life coaching school and um, through life coaching school, I developed a, my own business, which was a soul coaching practice. And I was set to leave corporate America, developed my whole business. And I was the director of marketing at a time for a retail shopping center. And I had every intention of leaving. And long story short, the CEO of that company came out to tour my property, which was located in Westchester, New York at the time. And there was no general manager um, running the shopping center. And so I was the one to con conduct the tour and we owned over a hundred shopping centers or the company owned over a hundred shopping centers. And he asked me to be the general manager of the center. And I said, no. <laughs> and he was taken aback by that and said to me, you know, please don't answer me now, go home and think about this. And so I went home and I talked to my now husband and I started crying and I'm like existential crisis. Like I'm supposed to leave corporate America and I have this light and, you know, I'm supposed to be a soul coach and that's that. And spirit very clearly came to me and said, the purpose of this life is to bring and be the light in darkness. And you leaving now is premature. You're leaving before the transformation is to occur. So you need to walk into it. You need to walk into the darkness and you need to transform it. And uh, wow. Yeah. But you weren't expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And so I really clearly got that download and I sent a wild email that's probably never been sent to a CEO of a publicly traded company before, but it basically was like my life's purpose, whatever title, position, anything that I'm given in this lifetime, the, it goes down to the purpose, which is to awaken love and light within people, point blank and period. And from that space, that's always who I'm going to be. So if you would like me to take this role, I'm doing it through that lens. And that means 
transforming a retail center into a community center, a, a place where people can gather, a place where we put artists on pedestals and we are filled with affirmations of positivity when people walk into the door. Um, and then he replied to the email and says, you start today. So <laughs> that is so awesome. I mean, yes, I think everyone could take a page from that book. And, you know, wouldn't that be just amazing if, if everybody felt that way and we could transform things much faster, right? Right. I mean, if we really put our eye and our, and our hearts to the fact that wherever you are, wherever you are is where you're meant to be. So if you can integrate your life's purpose and passion, and, I, and I'm, if you're hearing this and you don't like your job right now, or you feel disgruntled, or you feel like you're not seen, see yourself first and work through the lens that this is your purpose and passion and bring your uniqueness into the role, however you can. And from that space, you're fulfilling what you're here to do until you're moved on to your next role. And it gives you a sense of passion and a sense of energy to wake up and feel like you're a part because you are a part of the greater plan. Yes, yes. Live, live from that place. And yes, I totally agree with you, but that's such a beautiful way to express it, to let people know that yes, they have a purpose, but they can start where they are. Yes. Yes, start where you are, start today, start right now. And it begins with just inquisitive questioning of yourself. Like, why do I really feel like I'm here? Or what do I feel like my life's purpose is? Or what do people tell me that I'm good at? You know, so that's where you can begin to really figure out what your gifts are. And you don't have to wait to quit the job or to get a raise or, you know, to, to be seen. It begins now and it begins today and it begins with you. Yeah. 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 Totally. And having that, that inner um, knowledge and that awareness, like you're saying, look, look inward and see like what's important to you. You know, often with my coaching clients, I start with exploring the core values because a lot of people don't, they're not aware consciously of what their core values are. And right. honestly, I wasn't either until I did my coaching training, you know, like 10 years ago, I thought, well, I don't know what my core values are. I mean, I kind of knew, but I didn't really, I wasn't able to articulate it really well. Right. Right. But yeah. through, through the journey and it, it may not, it, <laughs> I, I, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but it probably won't all happen in one day. It, it's an unfolding process of figuring that out. And, oh, wow, yes, that's my, that is my value. And that's what I'm passionate about. And it's like, it's an exploration because it's always about the journey. It's never about the destination. Once you arrive at the destination, there's another destination. And so recognizing that the journey is, the, is life. The journey is the process and the journey is the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And the other day I was talking to somebody and the term um, earth school came up. So another mm. life, life school. So we're here, you know, in this lifetime, I believe to, to learn the lessons we need to learn and that will help us evolve. And then we can help other people. You know, that's totally. the process, but it's definitely a journey and a process. And definitely, <laughs> as, as we know, um, very well personally. So, yeah. So let's talk more about your, your journey and, and how, um, like if I came to you and, and told you, Alexa, I, I really don't know what to do with my life. You know, I'm, I'm, I just don't feel fulfilled. I, I'm not sure what, where to go, who to talk to. What, where would you start with that type of a question? How would I start with that type of question would be, first of all, taking a Ariel's view of our life in that earth school and life school that you just referenced, what every single one of us on this earthly life and existence have in common is that we all work. Every single one of us works, whether we're mothering or fathering, delivering, creating, making, managing, and managing our households, whatever it is, we are all always working. And like, what an amazing, amazing humanity that we're a part of that literally your doorbell rings, there's packages there. Okay. You just ordered food from a restaurant. So that's everybody utilizing their talents. So what I would say is basically 
spirit and work are to be integrated. And when you integrate spirit, which again could be looked at as through the word love, when you integrate love with your work, you never feel like you're working, right? You never feel like it's like, oh my gosh, this daunting thing. It's like actually from a greater perspective. So I would coach and, and advise and do coach and advise that let's get an aerial view on your life and kind of where are, I, I feel as though if you're coming to me, it means that there's an inner knowing, an inner awakening of, huh, there's gotta be something more. There's gotta be something more. Well, the more always reflects back internally, right? The more is all, always reflected back. So where do you need to see yourself more? Where do you need to acknowledge yourself more? Um, and so that's like really the first place that I would begin um, is, is just, getting a beautiful Ariel's perspective and view, and then going right into the heart. <laughs> uh -huh. I love that. Absolutely. Cause that, that, that is where, it, where it all resides is, is totally. side of us and having that, that knowledge and that, that, that belief, you know, that we are more than this body and just knowing that we have that spiritual connection. And, you know, the other thing that I love um, to talk about, and I, I know you probably would agree, is how we have so many, so much support from the universe, mm -hmm. from spirit, from our unseen friends, right? Totally. And how, totally. Do you coach people around that? How to how to tune in or touch touch into that? Well, I coach people on that in the simplest of ways by when I am in a practice with somebody. Generally speaking for at least part, part of it, a part of it, we're seated and we're sitting down and simply bringing the recognition to the fact that our body is being held up, your, yours and mine right now by a chair. The chair is being held up and supported by our floor and the floor is being held up and rooted by our earth and gravity. So if we, even if it, you could be somebody that totally feels a connection to spirit and feels your spiritual guides and feels your energy and sees all the messages, or you may not be there on your path quite yet, but you can realize and you can physically feel your support right in your chair. And so bringing it right down to someone in practical sense of something that they can touch and experience with their five senses is where I begin in my practice. Yeah, that's great. Just feel, feel that grounded sense of yeah we're, we're here so we are being supported like what, totally right <laughs> this is earth floating in the sky right right and i just think in today in in the earthly life today where it's like so fast paced and videos and 10 seconds long and you have four i think it's like three seconds to capture someone's attention these days i mean it's like it's crazy it's wild and so remembering that we our job is to call out all the areas that were supported our role is to, is to speak of the gratitude because life goes by so fast. It's so easy to forget and like, oh, I got to go there. That's the destination. That's the destination. That's the destination. Well, here, here is where you find the gratitude. Here is where you're supported. So just calling that out into awareness is like the number one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just being present. That's, totally. Before you said it, I was just thinking my, in my mind came the word gratitude. Mm. You said that. So it's like... <laughs> I was thinking, you know, how, how, yeah, right. Um, like, how does that fit in? And how, like, can you share um, about how when we're grateful for something and we appreciate what we have, then we get more of that, whatever that is. Totally. So the best way I can describe this is in a sense where a lot of my work is predicated on abundance mindset. And so whether you are an entrepreneur looking to receive revenue for your spiritual business and turning your passion into a money generating business, no money comes to you through the thought process of lack. So if you can shift your mindset in that moment and recognize, oh my gosh, I am so grateful for the $20 that's in my wallet right now. I am so grateful. What's your, what do you do when you receive a check or you receive money? Do you just say, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get to that. Or are you cherishing it? Are you putting a ritual around that and really, really having an intimate relationship with your money? And so that is the first step that I would say. And that's what I do in money mindset coaching is 
be appreciative of everything that there is. And, you know, we're, we, I think that we've all grown up with this story of like money doesn't grow on trees. I know for sure my, my parents said that to me when I was younger. And so at this point I, I say, you know, let's like really dare to question that and say money does grow on trees. I mean, I literally am staring at a money tree right now. It's coined the money tree. So to me, money's growing on tree right there. And then when you start to do that and like you see a, a dime on the ground, on the root of a tree, I mean, that's truth right there. So just reprogramming our minds and that scarcity mindset that society has just kind of shoved down our throats a little bit with even terminology like dirty money and filthy rich and these sort of things, like that is powerful. When you put a word like that in front of another word, it's really powerful. So taking the time to recognize that and shift and saying, I am abundant. And these are the ways in which I am abundant. And I'm grateful for a roof over my head and fresh water. I mean, how freaking abundant are we that we actually can take a fresh shower every day? Like, so it, it's, it's recognizing those things. That's what brings us more and further abundance. Yeah. Yeah. So recognizing being grateful for what we have, and then we get more of that. Yeah. And speaking of money, the other mindset, you know, that I think I grew up with is that you don't talk about money, like it's something mm. sort of be ashamed of in a way, because if you have it, you're ashamed of it. If you don't have it, you're ashamed of not having it. So, right? it <laughs> <laughs> so it's a taboo subject, right? It's, it's very taboo. And I think, you know, I, I've read a very inspiring read about the science of getting rich, and it really takes a different perspective on this and saying that having a mindset to bring in richness is one of the most noble things that you can do in this life, because then you are able to support other businesses. You are able to hire employees. You are able to support other people's passions and creations. And what a noble way to live in that sense, you, you support charities, you support things that are, that are close to your heart. And so that really, 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 really resonated in every part of my DNA. And um, the reason why I speak about this is because I feel like everybody has the potential and the, and the uh, capability and the possibility to land at richness and whatever that means to that person. It's, it's money is relative, it's different for everybody. But whatever you define richness to be, you are capable and deserving of that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely with you on that. And, and, and that, that was a shift for me working, I think, with other coaches before I met you. And it's like, right, it's not, it's not about me. You know? So yeah, I can, I can bring in you know, the abundance and then I can give it away if I choose. Totally. Yeah. And it's never about us. Like at the end of the day, nothing is ever really about us at all. So it's like, you know, just shifting that mindset and culture of like, it's taboo or like, like, again, like these connotations that we put together and it's like, let's applaud that. And let's say, wow, like, let's get inspired by that. Because if somebody's reached a level that you're looking to reach, it means it's possible for you. That's what it really means. It means, whoa, if they did that, I'm able to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there, there's a lot out there right now, at least um, on my social media feed about um, how to be, you know, be, be abundant, have that, you know, make, make that money. And, you know, there's, there's so much out there that I feel like there's, there's definitely um, a shift going on, especially in our business, our holistic coaching type of um, business. Totally. Well, recognize totally. It's, it's, it's worth it. Time. The time is now for that. And, you know, I, I remember reading a passage. I don't remember exactly where it came from, but this was years and years and years ago. And it was very simple. It was having money is spiritual. That, like th those go hand in hand. At the end of the day, we've incarnated on an earthly existence where an exchange of energy is money. So it's time for us to embrace that. That's the way that our livelihood right now in today's day and age that's how things move and flow. It's a give, it's a receive. That's what we're born into. So when we embrace it and we learn from that perspective, that's what the learning lesson is for us here. That's what yeah. I believe. Well, that's great. And so obviously you incorporate all of that into your work with your clients and people you work with. Yes, absolutely. Yep. And it's just another an integration between 
another instance of integration between what we define our work to be and spirit and consciousness because spirit and the universe wants us to be abundant wants us to live lavish lavishly wants us to live in richness whatever you define that to be mm -hmm. yeah no I, I definitely i agree with that yeah that, that's before us to live in joy and abundance and um and also help other people to get there you know whatever that for them and you know i believe that we were we came at this time for a reason a specific reason right totally yeah to be part of that and this time this place to create that transformation as both of us recognizes our in our our slogans i think that's so great three words a little bit different but also definitely connected and that's what it is your unique talents and gifts my unique talents and gifts and so it's just sharing in that and honoring one another and 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 wanting the best for each other really right because there's never there's never enough you know and the group that we belong to the TLC networking group and there's many many coaches many spiritual coaches many many of everything many yes many members, um and you know my belief is that people find you when they need when they need to yes yes it's kind of yes. like when a student is ready the teacher appears that type of, of mentality so we're, we're all totally each other no not we're definitely on the same wavelength I'm going to put up your graphic again because I just love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, yes, I had a beautiful creative woman help me take my vision from my mind's eye and actually apply it into this earthly existence. And so, you know, another thing that I really truly honor and love in this life is help and, and resourcing for help when everyone has a, a, their unique talents and gifts and to be able to take this vision from my mind and actually apply it in life. So shout out to this wonderful woman, Jamie, who created this for me. <laughs> yeah, and I love your tagline, retreat, awaken, transform. Yes. So with clients um, on um, Zoom or in person, or how do you normally meet with your clients? Um, yes, two different ways. So I do have a retreat space in Cross River, New York, just a hop, skip and jump away from Fairfield County. And I do retreat days and also team and family unity, unity building practices here on site. Um, but in addition to, I do see clients virtually as well, because as you know, an energetic exchange as we're having now, bears no physical connection. It's just energy meeting energy, you know? So either one is beautiful and perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. We, we're flexible and yeah, I agree. It, it all works just as well because it it's, does. <laughs> it's all energy. As we know right, right now from our conversation. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're totally on the same, same page with all of this. This is great. Totally. Well, it's, it's been fun talking to you a lot. Um, so we just, we have about another minute. Is there anything that you'd like to leave our audience with? Um, any last words of wisdom or anything like that? I would just like to say that wherever you find yourself right now, um, even if you're an immense, and especially if you're amidst challenge, just remember that there is the light and put purpose in your pain. What is the purpose of what you're going through right now? And when you look at life through that lens, that's the key. That's your key in helping others. And that's the key in helping yourself. So wherever you are, I honor you and I see you and you are loved. Oh, that's really beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. And I, I agree with everything you said today. <laughs> <laughs> and it was we're, we're definitely, yes, like meets like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I want to come back to your space because I was there a few weeks ago and it's, it's, it's just a beautiful space that you have. Um, you. It was lovely having you for sure. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be in touch and thanks everybody for coming um, and sharing you with us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.